All right, folks, uh, here's an update to that computer I bought off Kijiji. Um, i5 2500K with 16 gigs DDR3 Corsair Vengeance RAM. Um, I just wanted to show you the insane boot up speed. Okay, here we go. Uh, press the power button. That's from a full cold boot, not hibernate, not anything. It uh, it works really well, and of course, you know we got speed fan, controlling all the fans like usual. Works works really really well. Um, so as far as in the computer goes, um, I installed a new heatsink. Arctic Cooling Freezer 13 Constant Operation. Um, and uh, because the heat sinks on the RAM are so freaking huge, um, I had to install it backwards to how I would normally install it. Um, so that means I had to reverse the airflow for the whole case. So it's sucking cool air in the back and then it exhausts hot air out the bottom, out the front, and out the top. And eventually I'm going to figure out what I'm going to put up here. It could be 140 mil. It fits real nice in the drive bays uh, up there. Or I might put another uh, monster 230 mil uh, just right on the face of the drive rack there. Might make it work good. Um, I also replaced the fan in the power supply with an Arctic Cooling 120 mil constant operation PWM fan. Um, and that's so that um, it's a longer life fan, uh, it's quieter, uh, plus I can control it with speed fan. So that works, works really well. Um, yeah. Um, I, I can't even get the, um, the fans to really spin up much under a load test. If we go, say, um, Prime 95 with a full blend, full blend test. Let's see if we can get some fans to spin up here. So I have it on the T case, the um, CPU temp, not the core temp. When it gets to around 41 degrees, it'll start to step the fans up. And if the T case temp ever gets to 50 degrees, it'll run all the fans at 100%. Just hang out for a bit. You can hear how totally silent the system is, you know, even when it's under moderate load at the start of load. It is absolutely, absolutely, totally silent. Power supply fans. It works. It's really nice. Okay. We're at 41 degrees. It's stepped the CPU up 1% and the big 320 mil top fan. It stepped it up quite a bit. And there we go, CPU's up to 8%. And the CPU is actually spinning faster. 
but it doesn't start to get uh, audible until about 18%. So there I can hear the top fan. Top fan's kicking in a bit. You probably see the LEDs are brighter. It's getting more power. And the uh, constant operation fan there. Oh, there we go. You can hear it spin up a little. All the other fans are spinning up too. The one on the bottom, power supply fan, spinning up. Uh, the one in the front, I don't have uh, thermally controlled at the moment because the cable wasn't long enough to reach to the motherboard header and I didn't have any extensions handy. Um, there's my uh, Intel 530 series uh, SSD drive. Just rips of those SSD drives. Um, I'm probably going to uh, put two or four in here and stripe them. And then I'll get a PCI Express um, RAID controller. Um, there's my dual gigabit uh, PCI Express uh, Ethernet controller. Uh, works well. So for this machine I'm going to be uh, setting up some pretty basic applications. Uh, free PBX or Incredible PBX and uh, PFSense. That'll uh, be the router and everything. Wow, you can really see the, those are getting bright now. So let's spun that up. Let's see, see what we're at there. So uh, the CPU is up to 45 degrees. CPU fans at 23%, 1200 RPM. And um, you know, I can let it sit here for hours and hours and hours. And the highest I ever get the CPU up to is 46 degrees. So I'm really, really loving really loving this setup alright so now I just gotta install VirtualBox and then get some uh, virtual machine images loaded up and then I think we're ready to go thanks for watching